welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And I had a little inspiration this week because I was in a uh, in one of the Facebook groups I'm in. There's a tag swap that I did with uh, my friend Julie Torrens here. And she made these cute little watercolor um, birds. Uh, our theme was vertebrates so that, you know, it had to be something with a spine. So, look at these good glasses, so cute. And I see that she did some um, blowing, to, so now you got like a flying bird up there. Um, and she did little flowers and grass and doodles. Or you do that and you get the little hairs on top, which is cute. I didn't remember to do a big one like that. Now, these kinds of birds were one of the first things I ever did. I don't have the original anymore. Um, but here's a picture. Um obviously beginner status all I did was outline them and add little beaks and whatnot and I uh, used cheap watercolors but they still came out cute I mean my mom's cousin was like that's what I want I want that I want that so she has that she still has it she says so so I thought that's what we would do today um you can leave them with just a plain background um, I think watercolor paper is pretty important for this I'm just using inexpensive uh, the Canson watercolor, like I usually often use, usually often, um, with the blue cover. Oh, here it is. This is what I'm using today, the 140-pound Canson watercolor. Um, I try to get it with a coupon at Joann's. They used to have it at, um, at Walmart, but now I think they have, uh, like, Be Inspired and another brand. Of the two brands, the Be Inspired is preferable, I think, to me. Um, I just did a little bit of, um, I just kind of dipped these in some um, Distress inks. And there's one or two with Distress Oxide. That one I dipped in watercolor paint, I think. The, the darker ones are, yeah, and that one. Those are what, those I dipped in watercolor, and I was like, that's too dark. So I, these I just dipped in um, inks. These are Oxides. Like tumbling glass, I think, and these are distress inks. I just put the pad down um, on a piece of plastic or acrylic, sprayed it. Then I usually spray this too, and then just dip them, just to get a light wash on the background, so I just don't have a plain background. That's all. Uh, this is antique linen, I think. This is this is peacock, I think, and then that was the, the oxide, and then antique linen, and then this is um. I think vintage photo and that's probably a mix of vintage photo and whatnot so like basically we're just gonna start by just making blobs and it doesn't matter what your blobs look like the more wonky and funky they are probably the better so yeah let's just have and you can use cheap watercolors you don't have to use expensive watercolors my problem is I tend to get too much water <laughs> So I'm just kind of going to put a little bit of a blobby, oh, I'm going to do a big, a big bird like she had on one of hers, maybe. Just doing a little blobby bit, there's still a little pink in here. And then I'm going to um, just kind of add some watercolor to it. It'll have a blue tint to it because, you know, it's a water soluble, it's going to pick up the blue from behind. But that's okay. And that's it. We're just making blobs for now. If I, if you want, you can use the same color and uh, do a little splatter on there. Just for something fun and different. I'm like, you're probably, maybe you're thinking, how is that going to be a bird? It will. You'll see. And like I said, the wonkier the better. Um, it does, I guess it doesn't matter if I get paint all over the back. I don't know. All right. Probably put a couple birds on this one. So, and you don't have to do wet on wet. You could do dry on wet. Wet on dry. You can't do dry on wet. You can do wet on. So wet on dry is just like it's dry. You know your paper's dry, and you just add your color. That's basically. That's basically what that is. Of course, once you add your color, then you've got some wet. And you can do some other things. And then maybe I want to add another bird on here. Maybe a smaller one. But maybe I want it to be a different color.
And that's way too much water. So I'll just bring in my, you can either just take your paper towel to dab up some water or dry your brush and that will soak up some water. Give a little bit more control that way. And maybe we want the bottom part of this bird to be purple and, and maybe we want the top part to be, I don't know, yellow? Would that be weird? Orange? Pink? What color is this? I think this is like a red kind of color. Like a brick red. Your birds can be all kinds of colors. And we can add color afterwards too. So there we go. There'll be two birds on that one, I guess. I'm just setting them over to the side to dry. And we'll see how many. And then also you could do wet on wet, which is like the first one I did. Just put on some water. And then add some color. I guess we want a good, nice vibrant color on this one. I do like blues and tea, blues and turquoise, can you tell? Add some more turquoise. And I'm not worrying about my shape. Um, whatever the shape is is going to help me determine, you know, what bird or maybe even another animal. Who knows? So, yeah, make some blobs with me. Uh, let's see. I'm wondering if some of these are, these are mostly these are three by six, the ones that I did. To another big bird. Um, I haven't done any just brown birds. I kind of want like a burgundy one, sort of maybe. So maybe like this color here, maybe. No, nope, that's just more brown. A little orange in there. I have no preconceived notion of my birds. And of course your watercolors will dry lighter. Alright, who knows what he's going to look like. Maybe he'll even be this way. He could totally do it either way. And I was trying to think if I wanted to splatter that, but it might look a little too... I need some bright colors. This set is uh, like earth tones and stuff. Where, where... Hold on, let me get some other watercolors. Um, or, I could even, let's see, this is Barn Door. Where did my, use some Distress Ink. So if you don't have watercolors, uh, just wet your Distress Inks and uh, get those in that blob of water. Use what you've got. I can't see where the water is anymore, so I'm just kind of like, uh, yeah, there we go. And these also dry lighter, so you want a nice, bold, vibrant color on there. So, yeah, definitely use your watercolors. You can even use inks. Use whatever. Whatever you have, or watered-down acrylics. Um, yep, 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 yep. Right persimmon. Let's try that. The other one was barn door. This one's a nice bright orange. Which will look nice against some blue. Alright, let's go ahead and... Make, oops, got a little bit of red in there. That's okay. 
and then put some orange in there too. They don't have to be the same. They can be totally different. All right, dry that off a little bit. Maybe get some wet out. Just too much water. I'm really good with the too much water deal. Always with the too much water. Maybe add a little bit of the barn door red in there a little bit. Maybe add some of this orange, which is a little bit darker. And see what happens and what flows. It's a little bit redder. And uh, let's see. Maybe even add a little bit of this magenta. And maybe a little bit of blue because I love when that happens. And it just kind of does that. All right. A little too much water in there, though. Let it soak up into the paper towel a little bit. Who knows what that'll end up looking like, right? All right. Weird blobby shapes. Who knows what's going to happen with them? I mean... Hopefully something. <laughs> you can always add to it if we need to. Um, yeah, no big deal. There's just no big deal about it. All right, purple one. Now the purple tends to be a little bit darker, right? Oh, we haven't done any where we do the, all right, uh, you can use a little blower thing, which I do have, but you can also use a straw. So, there we go. So that one's going to be a little crazy one with his friend and his friend or his brother. I don't know that the same color is that good or bad. I don't know. Just want to do some things and have not be I like to have a little bit of variation in color if I can but I'm also going to be coming back in with uh, some uh, paint pens and, and markers and whatnot so I'm going to make his belly, this will be his belly I'm going to give him a lighter color belly and maybe so we can see his face a little bit if that's what that ends up being so you, yeah you can come back and do whatever um, I have not done a green bird yet, have I? Let's do a green one. Let's see. Well, he needs, he actually needs a little more water to be able to do that, doesn't he? And then a little more pigment. Bed hair, bed head. He's got a little bed head happening. And maybe add a little bit of blue here and there. And just let that do what it's going to do. Now we could kind of let some water drip down and get like one or two. There you go. That'll be it. So now he's got legs. The other ones don't have legs. He's got legs. He's got legs. Knows how to use them. Alright, let's see. I, I'm aware. I'm aware of, of my weirdness. Okay, good. I'm in frame. Oh, okay. We're just gonna go like that. So 
So, we'll see what, oh, that, those could be his legs or it could be his hair. I mean, he could be totally flying in the air. That's interesting. Okay. And then I've got a couple more to play with. A couple more. I'm just kind of moving him around. Like this would be perfect for a wing. And then if I come back up here again, it'll just kind of be like... Come on. The top of his head a little bit. As long as I don't... Oops. As long as I don't do that. It's alright. Maybe he'll be a unicorn. Oh! He, he might be a partridge. Just put a little curly cue on that. He does kind of look partridgey. In a pear tree. This, I don't have any like yellow yellow, like just a yellow bird or, or you know, with some, some good yellow. Of course, you know, not me with just yellow. No, why would I do that? Don't I have some like quinacridone? Oh, I don't know which one. I do have a quinacridone nico azo gold, but if. If I couldn't tell you which one it is. <laughs> really couldn't. There. All right. There we go. See, I, th I thought I was going to do them one way, and then I think I, I turned them over and we're doing it different. I think, did I have one more? I thought I yep, one more piece of paper here. kind of just kind of dipped him he's he's a dipper but now we have like little red bits down here which is not always ideal because you don't want him to look like he's bleeding so maybe we'll just put a couple little babies down here like that pink, add a little pink to it. I like the shape that's got there from just being dipped. So I'm trying to keep that shape as much as I can. I like random shapes. I do. Can't help it. Alright. I'm gonna just kind of lighten up this bottom part here a little bit. There we go. And, uh, I mean, it's probably not a good idea for baby birds to be, like, super bright red because that just seems dangerous. All right, so we'll take this pink, which hopefully, whoops, will not look bloody unless you make it, like, really dark. It should dry lighter. Oh, just, just put this to the side and let it dry. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have any dry and ready to play with yet? This one's not quite dry. These are the ones I did beforehand. I mean, like, right... Okay, that's fairly dry. Alright, so let's start. I'm going to pull out... Let's put these away now, I think. Uh, white Posca pen. And... A black something. I also had... Wait, I, just, I had thoughts before but you know on a black Posca pen you don't have to use Posca pens you could just use a marker and then I've got this marker because this one um is the Stadler Luma color which I sh if it's still damp won't ruin it this is like the one that doesn't all right so which way do we want to go because that the big one could be the short one and the small one could be the tall one. I don't know. Actually, this kind of looks like it could be like the bottom of a leg in this. Probably should have bent one of his legs, but that's okay. They're just going to have straight legs on this one. How did I do their feet? Did I do their feet?
Oh, I just gave them little three, three points. Three little, but I didn't do their legs as thick, so. So we can just do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just random little, random little legs. And um, I gave them wider legs because I want to do like little stripes and polka dots and whatnot. Kind of like, um, oh, one of the ranger people. Is it, uh, uh, is it Reevely or the other one? And then he can just get tiny little polka dots on his legs. All right, now their bodies. We're going to figure out their bodies, right? Which way they're sh faced. Oh, Hold on, I gotta look at my picture again. <laughs> I'm like, how did I do these? Um, um, all mine face sideways. <laughs> I think these ones are facing forward though. Did she have some that were facing forward? Let's see how she did them. Yeah, she does. She's got little beaks and the eyes and the wings. All right, so we'll do the little beak. And do him a little beak. And go ahead and I'm just gonna color them black for now and I'll give them a little white. I can't I'm trying to think what bird eyes actually look like. Like although hers are really cute. So I have to decide if I just wanna do just a little speck or no, maybe we'll do the the full on Give them, give them white sense white the whites of their eyes. We'll have little googly eyed type eyes. Okay, we'll let that dry for a minute. And wings. Let's see, his wings gonna come in like this a little bit. And this one. More like that. And then we just kind of follow. Oh, he's got his little tail sticking out there. Okay, outline his eye again and give him some I don't know about the eyes. How did I do the eyes? I just did little tiny specks. I might do that later on the other ones. Not sure. I mean they're cute and everything, but alright, now he's got gonna have I guess a wing there. In little things and then he's got a wing there and then he'll have little little things coming up too see my birds have hair and then we have this like blank space over here I feel like there needs to be something there but I'm not sure what it might be a really tall flower even I don't necessarily want to go, let's see. We'll do a short top flower and a taller flower. Just kind of. I'm not going to worry about that because we might put paint on it anyway. Like if we use acrylic um, paint markers, then anything behind it won't matter so much. And then maybe we'll do a third flower here. really weird random flowers I don't know why also oh shoot <laughs> forgot that was a double ended we might want to uh, give them some little dots on their arms maybe 
they got a little bit of just little dots here and there I don't know I don't know I don't know I love it all right let's fix these flowers real quick just gonna go over them with some paint marker and then I'll outline them and do something with them later could have left them just white too white well they weren't white but you know empty <laughs> whatever we're in a weird little world right so let's let's do their leaves and whatnot just a turquoise color what about their legs should we have colored their legs because we could totally we could totally color their legs if we wanted to I've got this lime green if it will maybe don't slam down your your pens I mean, obviously I have gotten the ink out of that unless it comes that color oh well worry about that later all right so there's our first one is he dry because he'll be fun right don't you think because we'll come up like this and little bed head. He's got a little bit of bed head. Don't know where his beak's going yet. Almost feel like a wing has to go there. Let's see, that could be his tail a little bit, maybe. This feels like a wing right here. And maybe that's a wing. Giving him a wide leg on one side and a really skinny leg on the other side. Nice. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Yes, it's weird. I can come back if I want to do polka dots in another color. I totally can. Alright, so there's his big legs. And... little polka dots here and there. I also thought about like maybe using some stamps. Did it again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try doing mine with the legs that I originally did. Oh wait, he, oh wait, he's got legs, right? Is he dry? He's fairly dry. So he's flying, I think, maybe. His legs are just dangling. So if he's flying, his wings are like that. And There's his face. Just kind of outlining this. Um, some of us don't have real sturdy hands. And so... 
our lines are not going to be real super great. <laughs> but we're not going to worry about that. Oh my goodness, he's so cute though. It's weird if he doesn't have like any kind of something on his feet. But that's weird too, but anyway. So there he is flying. <sighs> Did it? Why? 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 And then what I was thinking of is if I use some of the stamps. Actually, it don't have to be stamps because I mean, a lot of these stamps are just like little mark making stamps. And you could do that with pen. You don't have to wait and, and use a. Uh, You don't have to use a stamp. You could totally just use a pen. Or, you know, you can use something like this. I'm just kind of putting it down. I don't know. I don't have this color pen, and I kind of like this color. For him. Alright, I like that it goes around a little bit more like that. Alright, let's shape his face a little bit then. Yep, I know. I'm aware. I'm a little extra. I know. Well, now he kind of starting to look like a... <laughs> what is that fish? The little puffer fish guy. Let's give him some... feathers on his wing his little flying wing oh shoot hardly seems like a wing strong enough to uh, carry that little fuzzy guy is it doesn't it there maybe oh one of these days alright uh oh Oh, I thought it fell, but it didn't. Um, is this going to be a bird or an alien? Right? He's going to be something. He's going to be something. Just have fun with it, people. Don't overthink it. Kind of like that I did the legs coming down. A little crazy hair happening. Or it could be his, his tail feathers. Depends how we want to play this. Maybe that's his tail. And if so, then we go ahead and give him a head. And then this would be his tail. Why not? What do we think? Give him a little bit of... Do I have that color? I think I have a similar color. But it didn't get put away, so that's not helpful. <laughs> that's not super helpful if things don't get put away. I just kind of want to do a, a color on color. Uh, ouch, what's the word for that? There's a word. I'm going to turn off my... Here we go, a tone on tone, uh, just give him some, some circles, because why not, just open circles, because we can, and then there's his feathers in the back. Boy, I my all my birds have like little like you know all their arms are like really close to them. <laughs> uh, 
What about these crazy guys? Wild and crazy guys. Uh, let's see. Well, that could be... His tail and his beak could be there. So a kind of an aerial view, I guess. I don't see his wing very much. So then what's this guy doing up here? I mean, he's just... Man, that's weird beak. Oh good, a nice fatter beak. That, that, that'll be, that'll be really good. Um, fine, we'll just give him a really fat beak too. That's weird. We're not going to fuss about it and worry about it. He's just going to... And then he's just going to be really short. <laughs> there, it goes this way now. Oh my goodness. They got big beaks. And they cannot lie. Oh my goodness. I'll give him some spotty wing. So yeah, doodle you can doodle on the uh, on your little birds or just leave them plain. Like I my first ones were just totally plain. And now I'm a more doodly person than I was back then. I mean I was a little bit doodly. Um, let's see. Let me just go ahead and do their beaks real quick. A little bit of orange, maybe. Those are big beaks. Those are interesting birds. <laughs> hey, I said we were going to get a little funky, right? A little wonky. A little, okay, that kind of doesn't, you know, um, he looks more like a little hedgehoggy kind of guy. Maybe. This is one of his feet here, and this is another one here, maybe. Or a pig. Maybe he's a pig. There, he's a little pig. There's his ear. Hey, you just do blobs, and then whatever you see, that's what you get. <laughs> and apparently I saw a little, a little pig just floating in the air. Let's see. There is, there's some dots I like. Ooh, or that could work too. Um, where are the dots? Dots, 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 dots. They probably didn't get put away. Well, I mean, I know I could draw them. They're not that hard to draw. <laughs> they are just little doodles. But I think that they can be a little more random when other people do them. Um, oh, let's go. Let's do the Mermaid Lagoon. We'll give them little blue spots. Just kind of there. Well, now I feel like. Do I have that color? Yeah. 
I have a color that's similar. Let's just go ahead and There, little polka dotted pig. Maybe his polka dots have little, nope, the yellow doesn't show. Maybe they have, <laughs> maybe a darker pink, just a little dot in them. Just random little, a bigger dot in the bigger one, little, like little avocados. He's just covered in weird avocados now. But, I mean, he's kind of cute. <laughs> Do you think? Alright, so we started out with birds and ended up with I don't know what. <sighs> what are these going to be? What do you see? What do I see? What do we see? Maybe they go this way. Maybe they go this way. That's a bunny. Do you see him? There's a little hand. And then there's a little nose right here. Oops, he's got a smile. A little eye. That is a weird looking bunny. Sure is. So what's the bunny hanging out with? Maybe just a big flower? I mean, you could totally turn these into flowers instead of... You just kind of go around. How do you make roses? I make them kind of sort of like this. And then he's holding it. Oh, that flower is giving you the finger. Okay, not on purpose. It's just how it worked out. So you can make blobs and they'll become whatever you see. Even if it's a weird, weird looking bunny. Alright, what about this one? Let's see. You know this one looks like, right? A little hedgehog kind of a guy. But which side is his face? I need to see a hedgehog. And also I'm using the wrong side. There, there he is. I used the wrong side. That is a weird looking hedgehog. I know, you love him. Okay. Let's see if I can do just this on just his... I would need a mask of some sort. Like... Yeah, let's, let's use the really nice Italian paper for that that we were going to stamp on. That makes sense. There, he's a weird little, a weird little hedgehog. He sh probably should have some feet. He's walking up a hill, apparently. I don't know. Have fun with your blobs. Just do weird, funky. But we gotta do this, right? Because, I mean, if this doesn't say... Partridge, I don't know what does. with his weird little mouth. Yep, 
getting weirder by the second. My, my, they tend to have a little bit of a sass. Uh, he should have a tail. This is probably his tail right here. Oh, he needs a wing? Is that what you're saying? Okay. She's, she or he has a wing. That's just super weird. Oh, uh, keep doing that. It's a double-ended, double-ended people, double-ended. Do I have, I should, I should have a color similar to him in my earth tones. Or something that I can, that might work. I don't know. He's a weird little bird. Uh, whoops. But have fun with it. I think that, oh, we gotta do our babies. Do the fine, do the fine one, do the fine. Let's see. So. That eye is so not in the right place. Well, actually, it is. If she's like this, it actually looks a little bit better like that. But then what are these little red blobs going to be? Just... Little, uh... I was going to try to make it a ladybug, but I don't know what I did. I did weird things to it. We'll still try. Try to make it a ladybug. His wings are a little bit open. That's, that's the weird thing that happened. Now he just looks like he's got an X on his back. That is one weird little ladybug. All because my bird looked weird the other way. All because we had red splatters that we didn't want to look like blood and now we have all these little pink splatters that don't look especially pink. They're all flying though. I think this one might be flying in the wrong direction. Giant ladybugs with the bird. They're not all winners. They're they're not they're not all winners. <laughs> let's just let's just say say that. Um, See what a, they're they're looking down at something, aren't they? Is this his tail kind of coming down, and then his wing will be coming back like this. What are they looking at? Something. They gotta be look. Stop. It's a double-ended pen. Oh my word. Anybody else going crazy about the double-ended pen? Um. 
don't want to put that right into the... Where did my... I don't know. Let's just use this acrylic block real quick because that's what we've got. We'll just put a little flower there. They're looking at a flower. I just had to give them something to look at. So when that dries, I'll make it a little flower. All right, so for inspiration were these cute little birds that have the little white googly eye type eyes, and she did just the she did these so and then little polka dot legs and whatnot, um, and striped legs, and then I mean these guys are looking at something. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're, they're, yeah. These guys are just doing their thing, just walking along to where, I don't know, but their big beaks will lead the way. And our weird, weird little thing, and then our little weird hedgehog guy, and our little weird little pig guy. Oh, actually, he's kind of cute. I like him. Uh, our weird... Weird little rabbit that uh, with a big rose, kind of a flower, and then our little flying bird, and our I'll fix those flowers, but um, I don't know about them either. You know, we're always really critical of our own stuff. I might add some doodling, more doodling and stuff, but I think you guys get the oh, and our little little with his funny tail feathers. Did I miss any? Well, there's a couple that didn't get doodled on, but that's okay. I'll do those later. Because it's been almost an hour now. It's time to go. I hope you all have a delightful day. I hope you play with some watercolors and just have fun with it. Make blobs. See what you can see in the blobs and just have fun. I kind of like him. Have a delightful day, guys. Love you. Oh, and Watercolor Wednesday is a hashtag... And it's hosted by Amy at Crafty Cat, so go check her channel out. And Julie Torrens, the lady who sent me these lovely things, she's got a channel too. Go check her out. I will link them both in the description box. Bye for reals!